Okay, so let's have a look at the mixed exercise for chapter three. Now then, because I'm doing all the exam and exam stroke P questions, it would look like we are doing the entirety of exercise three. Okay, so without further ado, let's make a start. Question one then. Um, 2kx minus y equals 4 and 4kx plus 3y equals minus 2. And it tells us they are two simultaneous equations where k is constant. And they want to show that y equals minus 2. Okay. A show y equals minus 2. So deal with it like we deal with anything in terms of I am going to bring the y to the right hand side. Um, now I'm going to bring the x and see what we can get in in terms of putting in the x's. Okay, so if I have, um, if I take the first equation there, 2k x minus y equals 4. I'm going to say that that's the same as saying 2k x equals 4 plus y. And that means I can say that 4k x multiplied by 2, okay, is equal to 8 plus 2y. This means I can start substituting it into this equation. So bringing that up to here, I can say that 8 plus 2y, uh, 4kx, putting it into equation 2, plus 3y equals minus 2. So we've got rid of all the k's, we've only got y's now. So that comes out as 5y equals, bring the 8 across, minus 10y equals minus 2 which is what they wanted. Okay, part B, find an expression for x in terms of k. Okay, so this is basically the same, but they want us to solve for x, and we're going to have some sort of k in the solution. So if I take the first k equation again, 2kx minus y equals 4, I'm going to change that round so that 2kx Bring the 4 across, minus 4 equals y. I can now use this to put it into the second equation. And so I can take that and I can say 3kx plus 3 times, okay, the y value, 2kx minus 4 equals minus 2. Okay, let's give ourselves some space. Multiply out the brackets. 3kx plus 6kx minus 12 equals minus 2. That's 9kx equals, bring that across, that becomes a plus 12. So 10, meaning that x is equal to 10 over 9k. That should do. Good. Haha, <laughs> and when you go and check your answer, if you can see my deliberate mistake, I'd like to pretend it's deliberate. 4kx, what did I have? 3kx. Okay, so a bit of a mistake there. Not so much a mistake, but copying the question wrong. So at this point here, it should have been 4kx plus 3 times 2kx minus 4 equals minus 2. Okay, so as that multiplies out, that gives me the 6kx minus 12 equals minus 2. And we still get the 4kx, which means we end up with a 10 k x equals 10 
which means we end up with an x equal to 10 k, uh, sorry, not 10 to k, but 10 over 10 over k, which gives us x equals 1 over k as a better answer. All of that is wrong. Right, going on to question two then, after that small mistake. Question two, solve the simultaneous equations, which are x plus 2y equals 3 and x squared minus 4y squared. Oops. Or y squared um, equals minus 33. Okay, so I think it might be easiest if we take the 2y across to the other side and then square it, we can substitute it in. Okay, so that first equation there will become x equals 3 minus 2y, which means I could say x squared is going to be 3 minus 2y squared, which when you multiply it out, that's going to become 9. Then it's going to be 3 times minus 2, which is minus 6y, minus 6y again, plus 4y squared, giving you a final 9 minus 12y plus 4y squared. We can now take that and substitute it into the second equation. So we can say 9 minus 12y plus 4y squared minus 4y squared equals minus 33. Thankfully the y squareds cancel out so that's good and I'm going to have minus 12y is equal to minus 33 minus 9 when I bring it across there is going to be minus 42. Okay, and then we can say y is equal to minus 42 divided by minus 12 or over 12. Um, what's that? It's not 8, it's check out the calculator 42 divided by 12. Okay, 7 over 2, 3 and a half. Okay. With that done, we can then substitute it in to the equation at the top. So x plus 2y equals 3. x plus 2 times 7 over 2 equals 3. x plus 7 equals 3. x equals minus 4. 